Hi, I'm Mark Bullock and welcome to another episode of Mark's Musings on a little less serious note today. My wife and I were lying in bed last night and she was watching something on YouTube by Alton Brown. Um, and, you know, a lot of the Hollywood studios, a lot of the big production houses, you know, have either shut down or had to set things aside. So there's a lot of series that have been either set on the side or whatnot. So I guess they're doing a series, something to do with um, quarantine, cooking and quarantine or something like that. Now, and I, and I find it interesting, and I, what was most interesting to me is, first of all, I was kind of drawn to it, and I'm not a cook. I don't like cooking shows. It's not my thing. Not, don't really, not personally a fan of Alton Brown, nothing, nothing against him or his wife in this case. Um, it's just not something that I'm particularly interested in. Um, but, you know, my wife volunteered to me why it's so working for them. Um, cause they're, they're going on for like an hour and it's just, they're, they're just ranting and there's cursing and there's, you know, just stuff that I, again, I'm not, you know, they were, they were cooking frozen pizzas and a waffle iron. And I'm like, what, what, why, why would anybody watch this stuff? And then she tells me it's because it's raw. It's because it's real. It's because they have a relationship with their audience. And, and a connection with their audience. They're just real people, you know, trying some wacky stuff and, and, you know, kind of faux arguing with each other, or whatever. But it's the whole thing is that it's real. And that really kind of brought me back to realizing that a few years ago, we would be watching something on television, you know, something on, on cable. And I can't remember the last time that I watched anything on cable. There's Netflix, there's, there's YouTube, there's uh, any number, uh, Amazon Prime, there's, there's any number of services that we might be watching. And this brought me back to video socials and what we're doing here. And I guess the main, the main point that I'm starting to realize is this whole COVID mess is just an accelerator, right? It, it's, it's, it's an amplifier of what was already happening, what was already trending, what was already going in a certain direction. Um, I'm kind of worried for network television at this point because I, I don't see how they're going to survive this because I get my, I watch what I want to watch when I want to watch it. And I've gotten so used to that now, I'm really not interested in anything else. I, 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 I get to see what I want to see when I want to see it. And with video socials, we get to practice having a conversation with our audience of being a little raw, of being a little imperfect, of, of being um, real and communicating with and connecting with our audience. And that's what I appreciate. And um, that's just my musings for the week. And... Uh, Hope you found something interesting in there. Again, Mark with videosocials.net, phoneblogger.net. Have a great day.